-uh. Hello, sorry. I'm up. <sighs> Running late. We had um, bedtime routine to do, so my 10 minutes turned into a lot longer than I was anticipating. So, I don't really have anything like ready to sew that like could, um, yeah, I don't have anything ready to sew. So I'm gonna see I have an NCW that I was trying to finish. It's my first one. As you can tell, I already messed up. Like, it was my fault. Um, because I sewed this at a quarter of an inch. And I was supposed to sew it at a half inch. So, I have extra markings that shouldn't really be there. Oh, sorry. Let me see if I can get... I want to make sure I can see chats and stuff. I'm going to lower this down a little bit. So, as most saw, I'm going to move y'all so y'all can see it. Hi, Beverly. Hi, Sweet Pea. Okay. Yeah, so, surprisingly, it wasn't as, like, crazy. Like, it wasn't, I, like, sewed a little bit on it, um... I did like the side stitching of this and the stitching is like really awesome compared to the Juki. Um, I'm trying to see. Rhonda, yes, I am. I'm so excited. So I'm like, I have bought it almost two weeks ago. So it'll be two weeks on Thursday. Um, but it was like poor, like night. I don't know, like, horrible, like, circumstances, I guess. Like, it decided to, like, rain for two weeks straight in, in, um, in Texas, in Austin. So, it took longer to deliver from Sunny Sewing than it should have. And I was just, like, waiting for a rain, like, the rain to clear. It finally cleared today. And then it, it did rain a little bit. But, um... Sam came from Sunny Sewing and he taught me how to like thread it and wind the bobbins and stuff and also how to um, take off the like flat bed attachment. So that actually was a lot easier than I was expecting for it to come off. I didn't, I. It just has these like little screws here and you stick them right here so there's like holes right here and you just stick it in and it, they go into the back and then they have like um, these little nuts and stuff that you tighten on so it was really easy to take on and off so let's I'm gonna grab I guess I'll just do I'll grab some scrap vinyl or some scrap vinyl we can just play around with it Ooh. okay so i have this scrap it's like a it's more so for a strap. Actually, hold on a second. Okay, I found a better piece. I guess not really a better piece, just one 
that I can play with. Let me grab my... The only thing is I need to get it set up. I wasn't like exactly prepared. You would think that I would have been prepared, but I didn't move anything in my workspace because I've just been so crazy busy. So I pretty much just um, stuck it next to my other machine. So let me make sure I'm not missing any. Thank you, Beverly. Yes, I'm so excited because I really like was not anticipating getting a cylinder machine anytime in the near future. So it's nice. It's nice to like actually have it. Um, so with this one, the stitching goes all the way up to like a nine or maybe, I don't know. It has a zero. So I'm, I think it goes up to like a nine stitch length. And you can use like a, tw um, from what Sam told me, you can use a, um, tw a size 24 needle. So I'm just looking at this, like I have, um, 19 size needles in here and it's like, these are huge compared to the 18 size needle that I'm used to. Yes, I have a big bucket of scrap um, uh, scrap fabric also, um, vinyl, because I'm like a hoarder. I played with it a little bit um, when he, we were here to make sure that it would like sew on like actual um, vinyl, because this is vinyl here, but this is like the leather that it comes with. But like, look how massive these stitches are right here. And then we kind of dialed it down a little bit so that we can see the like... A normal size and then we checked like we said we checked to make sure that like the tension was fine so that it was all set up for when he left I wasn't like having to um, message Sam or anything later on so the cool thing is, is that this has like one of those little like um, those roller like seam guides so you just kind of like Eventually, I'm going to go through and I'm going to put the markings for like um, three eighths of an inch, half inch, um, stuff like that, so that I have it. And then I can just move my um, roller seam to where it needs to go. So, so this is what it kind of the little roller guide. It's pretty cool. And I really like so like up here. I don't know if you can see it, but here, let me move you up. So like, if you see right here, this little like knob controls the height of the foot. So like, right now I have, like you can have it, I had it set to like three and a half, but like you can have it to where the like foot doesn't really go up very much, but say like I go, I need to go over like a really thick seam. So like when I needed to go over this thickness here, all I needed to do was just um, turn this knob to like a four or five and it makes the foot walk higher. So it's kind of like having a built-in hump jumper, which I thought was really, really cool when I was playing with it. So I'm just going to, pretty much I'm just gonna, I guess, play with it. I'm actually, the only thing is, is that like, it is like, it has a ton of oil, so I need to like, um, cause they over oil it so that it, you know, it's all like nice whenever you, um, when you first get it, just in case somebody doesn't, doesn't oil it like for a while when they get it. Um, so the oil is leaking onto like my vinyl and stuff. So pretty much just hold on to your tails and there was some getting used to on not having the flatbed because I took the flatbed off almost immediately so I have my stitch link to like a five but I really like how nice the back stitching is on this Like, 
you get like a really nice back stitch. But yeah, definitely gonna have to play with this to try to get some of this like um some of this oil, like excess oil that's coming out from the machine. And it really doesn't go that fast compared to my Juki. I don't know if you can see. But there's definitely a lot of oil. So let's see how it goes over. So I have it set to look, so like you can see right here, let me see if I can move y'all closer. I'm gonna. Okay. <laughs> okay, that's good to know. So this is what I kind of meant about the little hump, like the little, um, like foot or the um, foot adjuster that's on the top. So right now I have it set to like, maybe it's at like two and a half. So like I need to get over this hump right here so I can just set it to like a four and a half. And it like will walk higher to get over that hump. And then I could like dial it back down. If I wanted to. And this is like, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six layers of vinyl right now. And it's like going through it like it's nothing. So that's nice. What, Bubba's? Yeah, we can we can see about that. So yeah, actually, it's like so different sewing on this from a like a Juki or a non-walking foot machine. And I really like that I can put the flatbed on if I wanted to. So that's what I told my husband. I said, worst case is if I end up getting like too intimidated by the cylinder machine, I can easily just, um, I can easily just put the flatbed on and that's what'll, It definitely is not as loud as you would think. I will say that with the, like, when I have the flatbed attachment on, it was a little bit louder. It does shake quite a bit. Um, and then also, um, yes. Yes. Okay, you don't have to go to bed. But yeah, let's let's look at the we can look at the stitching. Let me just see where I put my scissors at. So the stitching is pretty nice. You can see it is like really, really oiled. So, but like the stitching is really, really nice. I guess you can't really see it because I did decide to use black. But. Yeah. Let's see. I'm going to grab another piece. Pretty much. 
I'm just gonna have to try to get used to it. Let me see what like a stitch length of seven will look like. Cause it's So yeah, it goes to a really long stitch length. Compared to my Juki, my Juki only goes to like a four for like stitch length. I think this one goes all the way up to a nine. What I'm really excited about is that I had purchased like um, rainbow thread from Sunny Sewing. And um, it was Tex 90, but my Juki does not like Tex 90 thread at all. So I could never use it. I almost just gave it away to, to somebody. Um, and I'm glad I, I didn't because now I can use it on this machine. The only thing is, is that the um, turn wheel, like for the handle, is really really um heavy to to turn so you kind of have to like but like look look how like wide that's a stitch length of nine so i'm pretty excited because that means i can like mess with leather now i want to make sure i'm not missing but yeah, so I'm pretty, pretty excited. Um, I am going to do, I will be doing a lot more sew alongs. Um, interfacing has kind of died down a little bit, which is really, really nice. Um, I got through the bulk of the orders. Um, right now I am currently like at that like seven day turnaround time. <sighs> um, cause I, my turnaround times are five to seven days. The only thing is, is that, I'm going to move y'all up. The only thing is, is that, um, I'm like, yes, it's temporary. I was shipping out a lot quicker, like on the three to five days and like more leaning towards the three days. Um, but when I first started, you know, selling interfacing and stuff, I was also like, less pregnant than when I am now um so we got to think that I'm even I'm three months more pregnant than when I am and so babies do in at the end of July um so I only have like two months to go Pot, well nine weeks possibly six weeks if it if she comes like my other two who came at 36 weeks and 37 weeks so I'm trying to get them out as quickly as possible, um, but it's just not physically um, possible for me to stand on my feet nine hours a day like I was able to three months ago. Um, so I'm having to go like day by day orders instead of just like doing everything in one day like I was. So, like, but like I said, interfacing has slowed down. We have another boat shipment coming in. Um, so hopefully I can get back to sewing. I got permission from Country Cow Designs to do sew alongs. Aura Rosa, um, Lauren Mormino said I could do a um, YouTube um, tutorial on the her new release. So I'm super excited about that because I do want to make that one. Um, and that's pretty much, oh, swoon patterns, Mrs. H patterns I can do. And I think that's all that I have for right now, permission wise. But I definitely do want to do a country cow creation one because I do have an order for that. So that's going to be my next sew along coming up. I don't know, um, hopefully within the next couple of days.
Rhonda, so I buy all my thread from Sunny Sewing. Um, that's really the only person I, I buy my thread from. As you can see, I have a wide collection of their thread. So, um, so yeah, I buy, I buy from Sunny Sewing. Um, yeah, and that's where I also bought the, my, my Thor machine from. It's from Sunny Sewing. I only live like two hours from them, two and a half hours. So, um, I get it within like next day pretty much or um within a couple of days when i order from them but yes so if there's any tutorials or like like um patterns that you want me to try to do so longs for just let me know and i'll do them i know swoon is taking a break from so alongs so i won't be doing the so alongs in swoon anymore at least not for june we're taking a break and in Mrs. H, so um, I'll just be doing so longs on my own, I guess. Um, lives are a lot easier for me to do than pre recorded videos for some reason. Um, it's bonded nylon, I believe. Let me double check. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. It's, it's, yeah, it's the, it's the bonded, not, it's the bonded nylon, sorry. It's like chilly in my room, so, and my jacket was a little too small, but, um, yeah, it's, it's bonded nylon. This is Tech 70 thread. The rainbow thread that I have is Tech 90, which is a lot thicker than, um, the 70. And that's pretty much that. Yes, no problem, uh, Rhonda. So yeah, I just kind of wanted to show you my new machine. Um, I have been waiting for it. I'm, I'm so excited. I'm also nervous. I'm trying to get my husband to um, sew with me to try to learn how to sew. So I'm gonna be sending him a lot of like, um, what is it, myth leather? I know uh, it's garb. He does the handbags and stuff like that. So I'm going to be sending him a lot of uh, his videos so that um, he can see. Which is, it's crazy. Like, my husband grew, grew up around sewing. So you would think that he would, like, want to. But no. Because his dad, um, my father-in-law, he, he sews. He reupholsters, like, old lowrider cars and stuff like that and then he paints them he paints them and then he redoes the upholstery so he's my father-in-law's really uh, he's a good sewer so and he's been sewing forever um but yeah my husband actually could sew better than me at one point but um i have surpassed him luckily so but yes i'm hoping that he can get into sewing with me but we'll see. Um, let's make sure I'm not missing any questions. Yes, I'm. I'm super excited because, like I said, I did use the rainbow thread on my Juki, and it just did not like it at all. It um, the stitching on the outside was really nice, but the stitch on the inside was like zigzag. So. It um, it was really sad, but luckily it was a teacher's gift. It wasn't like a custom order or anything. So, but yeah, so I haven't used the rainbow since then. And like I said, I almost gave it away. I'm glad I didn't, because it's, it's it's hard to find a uh, rainbow thread. Yes, I'm gonna um. Because I actually have, so I have this Thor, and then I have the Juki that I normally sew on, which is, like, right here. Um, this one is more set up for um, handbags, but I also have, like, a Zoge that I had gotten on, like, Facebook Market for, like, super cheap. I'll show you. It's, like, right back there. So I have that machine. Um, that one is set up for, like, sewing clothing, um, like, bucket bags and stuff like that. Or not bucket bags. Um, 
No, oh, the bucket hat. So, um, I'm trying to get him to sew, but he just does not want to. But he was, it's funny because, like, when I showed him this one, he was like, oh, like, you could do, you could make, like, um, shoes or something like that. I was like, told him, like, I can do shoes. I can do, like, there's, like, a bunch of stuff that you can do with this, like, leather, like, you know, like, boat upholstery. And he was like, you could make, you could do, you could make me some really cool, like, custom shoes. And I was like, um, you can learn how to get, you can learn yourself to make some custom um, shoes. Like, I already have like too much on my plate, purse-wise. And it's been forever. The only per the only things that I've been able to sew are, um, are tester bags or sew-alongs if I... Oh. And my husband has to help me like cut and, or not cut, but he helps me he helps me package all my orders and stuff. Takes them to the post office for me. But that's like the only good, like the one thing that I really, really like, um, cause we just moved out to Austin, is that um, we live like three minutes away from the like postal service, like um, USPS, um, distribution center for like all of austin so and it's only three minutes away from our house so we can literally like you know since it's only three minutes away from my house they collect their boxes at 6 p.m versus 5 p.m or closing at 5 p.m so it's nice we get that extra hour from when my husband gets off work he helps me package everything and so i'm able to like ship them out that day and they like actually start moving so that's like really nice about out here I did have some issues with like UPS though like I was so like I can pay for them to come pick up my packages so like that's the same day and so I had printed out orders I got them out I paid to get my my t uh to get them picked up for, for the like the next day and they never came like they just didn't show up that day and i was like stressing out because they weren't coming they like were not gonna come pick up and then like i had to call them the next morning because my packages were still there and um were still outside and then they said that there was nothing they could do they couldn't reschedule they couldn't like have somebody come out and get them i was gonna have to take like 30 packages to ups um, and then finally they called back and they're like, oh, it was our mistake. Like we were missing some information. Like we didn't realize that it was like our fault. Like I was like, yeah, I mean, y'all just didn't, y'all just didn't come. So luckily we got that all fixed. Now we just, I just have my husband take them for me. So I'm, I'm just going to have to like, I think what I'm going to have to do is just continue playing with this until all this oil comes out and it's not like leaking all over my my thing because I would I just don't want it's like really really big like it's a lot of oil and I even like went in here because you said um Sunny said or Sam said I can come in there and like clean it off and stuff and get it some of the excess I even took off some of the excess and it's still like super all over my mach like but surprisingly I'm not, it's not as like the only thing you have to get used to is holding it um like when I was sewing up the NCW that was like it was awkward to sew because you don't have like any of this holding it especially when you start because you have to hold your um, threads you can't just like go but it like it like sews really straight but I definitely probably 
you'll see a lot more of me sewing on this on this machine I mean I love my Juki but it is very um, this one it seems a lot nicer when it comes to the stitches Plus, I really got it for top stitching. But yeah, you can see how oily it is. Uh-oh. So I just gotta like really like just run it for a little bit until I can get all this off before I can um, make a bag. Cause it's coming from the needle up here. Let me see if I can find it. I had a towel. I have no idea where it went. But yeah, it's super oily. I just have to like mess with it to. Hi, Angela. Yeah, uh, yeah. I'm. I'm. I have a lot of. The ones that I, the machines that I bought in Destro Wise, they're, they're, um, they're pre-owned, so I didn't ever have to worry about, like, you know, excessive oil, but, um, yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to run this a little bit, because the only thing I gotta get used to is the, um, is the threading because the juki it's only like a couple things I have to go through versus like I have to go through all these like tension discs and stuff and it's kind of like super intimidating I don't I don't know I'll have to I'll have to see Cause I know like I opened this up and I like thought I got some of the oil, but I guess I didn't because it's not as bad as it was like, well, like prior to that, because like you could literally see like, just like the oil, like dripping down, like in a like glob onto. Um, so it's definitely like the more I played with it, the but it's not like it's not like terrible like I can easily like wipe it off and it's not like you know like it's it's not like it like it wipes away and stuff but I would hate to do like a you know fabric bag and you can't wipe the um the oil off on a like a on a fabric uh, bag so but yeah I'm yes it is really really hard to move the hand wheel um, like I do have to hold the um, I do have to push down a little bit on the what is this oh my goodness on the um, pedal to kind of like loosen up the, I guess, I don't know if there's like a safety clutch or something, but um, I do have to, but I have to remember to do that. Like it's just something that's gonna have to become like muscle memory. I'm not used to it because my Juki isn't that hard to, to turn. So I have to remember to push the pedal down a little bit so that it's, if it is like it's super hard to turn. <laughs> Munch pee pads, that's funny. Yeah, I am. Um, it's definitely going to be something I have to get used to. But I think that it's like. It should be, it should be okay. Yes, so mine did come with the table. I took it off. So it came with the table. This is a table that I have. 
um and really i can just show you how it like goes on so like literally i just put it on like this the only thing is, is that you have to um get it over the the um the knee lift and then you just put it in these holes So then you put it, um, I have these, let me grab them out. So I have all these, uh-oh, dropped one. I have like these nuts and stuff. And then I just pretty much go underneath here. So I just have to really line this up. And then I just go underneath here and I just tighten it with the washer and the nut and then I have it's attached to a flat like the flat bed now so it's pretty much what it's like so yes yeah, so and that's kind of why um I went with this one was because it automatically comes with the swing guide um, it has the safety feature so like if I knock my timing out all I have to do is push this button and turn the wheel one time um, like counterclockwise so I just like turn it the opposite of way of what it's normally supposed to go uh, one turn and it will put the timing back um, for me so I don't have to worry about like knocking my timing out which is something I was super worried about like con like considering you know walking foot and my juki um, so that's that's why and then also the flatbed attachment the only thing is that they don't sell the step down like one anymore because there used to be one like this where it was like you um it had this table but like it didn't have the um it didn't have this one so like this one was gone it pretty much was just this and it was like all open and then you had this part um on top but they no longer sell that one anymore so um this is a new table it's the u table that they have now which I don't think it's necessarily a bad thing because um, the main reason I got this was for the was for the top stitching Angela I to I totally understand you know that I buy pre-owned everything and it was so hard for me to purchase the Thor brand new because I don't know I just felt like selfish but I definitely will not be getting a new machine anytime soon like probably like five years so but yeah um the only good thing is that I really liked is that Sunny Sewing does this like thing where you can like put like you can do it's like layaway by pretty much. So um so it's like layaway by so pretty much like you can just pay what you can and I figured that was a lot better than for me to save it in like a save in my savings account because then you know something always comes up. To where you're like, oh, I'll, you know, I'll just use a little bit for my savings. And I just felt like I would never, like, really buy it. Because something more important will, you know, come up that, you know, probably could have waited or whatnot. But, um, 
but yeah so I definitely like that so I can just you know pay he like he had t messaged me Sam messaged me because they were out of stock so that's why I was like okay I can just like throw whatever I can you know however long it takes and then he messaged me that they came in and I was like told my husband I was like okay I need to buy this because I don't think I can wait for the next shipment to come in because boat shipment takes you know a, like a month and a half so I took the jump and I just purchased the rest of it but um yeah they're all sold out he told me they just sold the last one but apparently these are super popular which is crazy because I, I didn't think they like would be but Apparently they've been, these are the popular ones right now, the cylinder machines, the Thors. So, um, there is a big price difference between the Thor and the Juki. I think he said like the Juki is like 5000 and this one's like 35 So, um, that's kind of a big, you know, just for the name. And then I don't think the Juki has the like, um, the option where you can um, do the foot height. Um, I am not sure. You'd have to. You'd have to ask him. I will say the only good thing that, like, if you do purchase from Sunny Sewing and they ship it, they ship it pre-assembled. So, like, you don't have to. Um, you don't have to worry about like putting it together yourself which I really did not like physically I can't put like a, a machine together mine like I'm sure my husband could but like that's a lot of ask for from him um considering so um def like definitely one of the reasons why I also purchased from Sunny Sewing besides the fact that like I buy all my thread and stuff from them is that it came fully assembled just like this like they would just like wrap it put it in a crate and freight it to you so like pretty much when he came like when he like pulled up into my driveway like you knew which machine was you like I knew which machine was mine it was it was wrapped up in plastic completely um, like protected and stuff and so um, but it was already pre-assembled on the table. Everything was put together. So really, pretty much, I just had, like, a one-on-one -on -one lesson of him, like, showing me how to um, thread, oil, how to take the, um, this flatbed off. What else did he teach me? Um, about the safety timing, the foot, how to wind a bobbin. And then we kind of just like played around with it to see how I like on my vinyl to make sure that all my tension was, was, um, hey Sam, yeah. So see, Sam hopped on, um, but yeah, and he just like, we just kind of played with it. And then pretty much I talked to Zero off for like two and a half hours because I haven't talked to anybody like another human being since who knows how long. So, um. But yeah, yes, sweet pea. I I love the dial for the um, foot height. Like it's like literally a built-in hump jumper, which is nice because if you're like me, I always lose my hump my hump jumper. Like I have no idea where mine is for my juki right now. Let's see. Make sure I'm not missing any. Yes, Rosie. It it definitely is a it definitely was a big investment, but totally something I'm super excited about. The only this is the only part that I had issues with when I was taking this off was. was pulling off the um 
because you have to get it over the knee lift. So this one is the Thor GC um, 1341. It's kind of like the um, the uh, 1541. The only difference I think is that it's a cylinder machine versus like just a flat bed. So let's see. It's yeah, it's not a Juki, it's not name brand, it's it's the just the Thor. So um <laughs> yes. So that's pretty much the new machine. Um just now I just need to add a bunch of stickers to it and um as you know my first one will be like a panda one and then my next one will be um probably more pandas because you know I have a bunch of pandas on my uh, sewing machine. Oh um yes so the other machine I use is a Juki DDO 5550. It's the old it's an older version of the um jukies let me let me unplug my phone whoops sorry i hope i didn't make anybody sick sorry um as you can tell i haven't been sewing in a long time because it's been collecting but this is the machine i currently use oh that's not plugged in and neither is that so i use a juki DDL 5550 it's the older one so it's not white and you know pretty but whoops um yeah so this is pretty much it as you can tell ton of stickers but yes and then I also have a Zoge back here but this one here is mainly just for like sewing clothing not really I don't use it for bags. I probably will end up selling it if I can let it go. Yes, Beverly, definitely I'm going to do so long. I'm trying to decide what bag I want to do. I haven't decided. I think I might do I'm I think I might do the new one that came out, the Tula J by Country Cal Creations, the 2.0 one. I had did it in, I'll show you. You probably remember, I posted it in So Whatever. But I made it with this fabric. So I'm going to do another one using this fabric also. Because that one, you actually have to top stitch. So I want to try to get like I want to try to do the top stitching um like actually putting it in and like top stitching. Yes, yeah, Sonia, I was not using a walking foot sewing machine. I was just using a regular um I guess like garment machine um not really made for bags but i mean it was better than the baby lock that i was using prior but um yes definitely i'm like i mean i i didn't feel like i needed to upgrade because like my juki could do what it you know like what i needed to do but then again i also don't know what i was missing so we'll see what happens i'm gonna try to make do like sew up a full bag on this lining and everything so um i'm gonna i'm gonna see that's what i'm really worried about is that i'm gonna like sew on this one and, and like never go back to my juki which You know.
yeah but i'm pretty i'm pretty excited i i want to like sew everything but like like i said i don't have anything cut out i don't have i just know everybody wanted to like look and see and y'all i've been getting a lot of people asking when it was coming in and stuff and like i said two weeks of like straight rain it's crazy um two weeks of straight rain which you know it kind of wasn't like necessarily bad like the two weeks of straight rain because you know i was like you know i'm gonna get as many orders out as i can that way i can play with this when it gets in um and then we're growing grass in our backyard and that's kind of where i'm at stage wise in my life um we've been putting seeds down to like grow the grass out in the backyard so i've been like taking pictures every day in the rain and stuff you know it makes it like grow and stuff so our backyard is like so pretty and green it was like so muddy like patchy dirt um and now we actually have like nice green so it was kind of like you know yes my machine's not here but my grass is growing i'm getting orders out so i couldn't really complain oh cindy um my baby bump <laughs> It's quite, uh, it's, it's grown a lot. It's so, I'm telling you, I'm always all like belly. So, it's definitely a lot bigger than the last so long, um, y'all saw. I can barely bend down for anything, like, um, if a clip falls, it now lives on the floor forever. Um, until maybe the end of July when I can pick it up again but yes um yeah my, my belly is getting big I'm just like counting days either six weeks seven weeks or nine weeks I'm like hoping for the um I'm hoping for the six weeks because being pregnant in the summertime, yeah, I am poor planning on my part. Um, so it's a it's a girl. This is our first girl. So I have four boys. Um, this is our fifth, and our like surprise baby because um, my husband had a vasectomy. So we like we're done having kids. Um, and then we ended up getting, you know, finding out we were pregnant and it ended up being a girl. So it was like, it's kind of like a funny, you know, like it's, it's just all worked out. It's just, it's crazy. It's a crazy story. Like, um, how we got our girl that we weren't even trying to like, to have. Um, but yeah, so this will definitely be my last and I'm y'all will see a lot of her because um she will just be pretty much attached to me for a year yes definitely 100% meant to be that's what like when I because when I told my husband like I wasn't even thinking that I was like I had put off for a while like it like it was like no denying it was it wasn't like it, a faint line or anything it was like there so um you know i took like seven tests you know just to make sure and so then i i went to my husband it was like six o'clock in the morning i was like um hey i'm pregnant like with the our fifth you know you got you need to go back to the doctor and like obviously get checked um and he just like gave me a high five and went back to sleep and I was like, that's that's not what I was trying to say. But yes, he just like rolled over, gave me a high five and went right back to sleep. I was like, he was like, you know, this is how we're going to get our girl. And I'm telling you, I'm not going to believe it until like I like can check myself. So yes, Cindy, it's definitely a story we can tell. And I'm like, it was just like I said, it was just meant to be. I was like. It's just crazy. The boys were not the happiest, 
my older boys wanted a boy which i'm like why you have four like you already have three brothers four brothers like there's already four y'all like a girl will be fine so the the youngest he doesn't really know he's only he'll be two in august and then my three-year-old, who is the, he's number three, um, he wanted a girl. So he's always asking me, like, um, why do you still have my baby girl in your belly? And I was like, um, because she's still growing. But yeah, he's like, it's so cute because he's like, he'll tell everybody, like, that's my baby girl in my mommy's belly. So yes um he tells he tells everybody and then like we're like keeping it a secret kind of like not t really telling anybody and my second told my teacher like my, um pretty much that like he's having a baby sister like right now so his teacher was like freaking out like your mommy is having a baby right now like i'm like no we just found out we were having a girl we're not like we still have a while to go so he just like told everybody I'm like you cannot keep a secret child but oh definitely um she's probably gonna be tough we like our trampoline is no longer called a trampoline we call it the octagon because they literally go in there and like just fight each other and we're just like okay whatever like get your energy out because the last thing i want is y'all wrestling in our in the house because i can't tell you how many lamps and stuff they broke oh my goodness because they're always like wrestling and i grew up with two like so it was me my brother and my sister and my brother is like really like calm and stuff like that like not a typical you know like boy because he grew up with girls and so I'm like eight years older than my sister and I'm six years older than my brother so like we never fought or hit or like wrestled and stuff like that so like I'm not used to it like the loudness and my husband's like oh no this is like normal like this is how me and my brothers were and I was just like oh my gosh like I can't so I'm hoping a little girl will mellow them out but I uh, kind of doubt it, so. But yeah. But. But yeah, you'll definitely be seeing a lot of Maisie. Her name's gonna be Maisie. Um. Yeah, and we'll have her at the end of at uh, the end of July, or or sooner if she decides to come. Other than that, I'd probably just be like floating in a baby pool until the end of july because texas heat is no joke at all but yes that's pretty much it um i'm hoping maybe let's see what's i don't know what today is what is the today's day is it tuesday i think it's tuesday um maybe friday night i can go live and do the um country cow bag that um i have for an order i think by then i'd get most of the oil out like once i've run it a little bit i think by that point the oil will be out to where it's safe enough for me to um it'll be safe enough for me to um you know uh, sew up like a cotton bag so i'm going to shoot for friday It'll probably be fairly early, probably around like 5 30, 6 o'clock central time. My time. Um, I'll go live and I'm gonna. My, my goal is to do the whole bag on this machine. I probably won't be able to do the lining because it's, it is gonna be cotton, it's not gonna be waterproof canvas. So I might have to switch between the two, but we definitely would be able to um would definitely be able to, I'll be able to show you actually top stitching using the um the actual cylinder part of it which I know is what a lot of 
people want to see actually, you know, the, the top stitching. So, pretty excited. I think also by then I I could have my, because um, I'm going to order, tonight I'm going to order um, extra bobbins and um, size 18 needles. I think I have 19. Let me double check. Yeah, so I have 19. So I'm going to get 18 size needles and more bobbins. Because as you can see, I have quite a bit of thread. So I think Friday would be a really it's gonna be a really good time um, frame for all that. Plus I can cut all that stuff out. So um thank you, Sonia. Yes. Um I've had that name picked out for a long Oh no, did I Hopefully I'm back. I think I lost sorry, my internet is not the best. Let me see if I can turn it off. We're not doing so alongs in Swoon for July. We're taking a break. Or not July, June. We're taking a, a small break. So I'm going to do all my lives through YouTube only. So all my lives will be through YouTube. I just think they're a lot easier to do. Um, just because I did try to do a pre-recorded um video of the um posh makeup bag and my child decided to like he was outside on trampoline um and he came in and he was like butt naked just standing behind me and I had no idea until I was like re-watching the video and so I was like great so I had to scrap that um and it's just easier for a live because I can do it when my kids go to sleep, but yeah, so I'm just glad it wasn't a live. I think like I'm more aware during a live because, you know, like they're not really supposed to be coming in. It's a little bit later versus, um, they like, they just, they have free range to come in and out and pre like on a pre-recorded, I just was not like as aware I just thought he was like in here just chillaxing but no he was definitely I mean he was chillaxing but yeah so I was like great like but yeah so um turns out pre-recording has not worked out for me so um but thank you everybody for joining me, chatting with me, letting me talk your ear off because like I said, I only talk to my husband and I talk to my kids and um, my kids are going through this phase where they call me bra and um, I don't know, my second is going through this like, like he says like, yeah, boy, all the time. So um our conversations are not the fun funnest so um but yes thank you everybody for, seriously you will probably see a lot more sewing live videos on this machine than anything just because there's not a lot of videos on this <laughs> Rosie yes oh my goodness I'm telling you I was like the fact that he says that and it's like it just reminds me of like my like younger days of watching MTV and Flavor Flav and I'm like where did you learn this phrase and he says it for everything like when I make him mac and cheese and I give it to him it's like yeah boy and I'm like please stop but um yeah so good night everybody thank you for joining me like I said I'm sorry I talked your ear off um I gave you the rundown on lives coming up. I will make like maybe like a graphic or something so that um, everybody knows that I'll go live Friday for the um, Tula J 2.0. And the Tula J 2.0 by Country Cow Designs is only like $2.40, I believe. It's a really um, inexpensive pattern. And it's really cute. I wish I had the um, the original one I made, but my mom snagged it when she came over the other day. So, um, 
yeah but it's a really cute bag so definitely do that and also i know i had a lot of um requests to do the momexa so i want to do the momexa um so long also because i did one in all vinyl and it was teal and gold it was so pretty um but yes so that's pretty much the plan so i'll see everybody friday um yes thank you everybody good night thank you for watching um and letting me chat good night everybody bye oops